What is up everyone? Happy New Year and welcome to another video. I am so excited today, I can't contain it. I have basically been given free pass to ride this. 1986 Yamaha VMAX, it's a 1200cc V4 and dear God, it is muy rapid as they say in Spain. Speaking of Spain, Here we are. Now I'm gonna be approaching this video as a guy who rides sport bikes. I'm a sport bike lover. I love things that go fast and things that have shiny green plastics on it. And so I'm gonna be trying this out and seeing if, if I actually like it. I know that it's fast, I know that it's fast, but let's see if it's something that I could get along with. But quickly, before we begin this video, guys, do pick up your Moto hoodies or t-shirts. Links in the description, join the crew. And also I wanna say thank you so much for such a fantastic 2018 to everyone who watches this channel. I can't believe we're at like over 25 Okay, subscribers, it is absolutely freaking awesome and I'm so lucky to have you part of this community and thank you for helping to bring this whole thing together. Really appreciate it. Let's rock and roll. This is Alicante in Spain, where Gabby's uh, parents live and where Gabby is from. If you're new to the channel, Gabby is my wife. She rides motorbikes as well. You should check us out on Instagram. The link's in the description. It's early, early January, and it's about 20 degrees out right now. It's bloody brilliant. Perfect for riding motorcycles, such as this magnificent beast. Now, I've done another video on this bike on my channel ages ago, and to be fair, I think I was a bit of a noob back then. And this is Gabby's dad's bike. But Gabby's dad has been an avid motorcyclist for a number of years now. He's just approaching 48 or something like that. This is the culmination of everything that he wants out of the motorcycle. I'm not a cruiser slash drag bike rider, which is basically what this originally was made for. It was made for zero to 60 in a blink of an eye, basically back in the 80s. And it was the first muscle bike to be brought out of Japan. And I thought, oh, I don't know. I don't really know if I would like to buy one because I was thinking about buying one because you can pick up these quite cheap in the UK. Here, they're a little bit more expensive. But in the UK, you can get these for about two and a half grand. I never thought I would be so, so happy to ride one of these and have such a good time riding one of them. They are insane. Let me just put this to you now. They are insanely fast. I mean, oh my goodness. It's a V4, puts out 140 horsepower, give or take. It's a 1200cc V4. What is awesome about it is that it puts out about 114 newton meters of torque, which translates to about 84 foot-pounds of torque, which is just blindingly fast. I mean, I think my Ninja is like, a lot less than that. Even though it doesn't probably have as much of a top speed as mine, and low, and behold, you would not want to put this thing to the limit. It is so much fun, and it feels fast as f It is a shaft-driven motorcycle, which is fine. I think a lot of people have issues with older shaft-driven bikes because they feel that the rear kind of is a little bit disconnected, but I personally have not encountered any issues whatsoever riding this. It is just freaking awesome. It feels natural, it feels normal to me, it doesn't feel like any really any different than a chain drive motorbike. The other fantastic thing about this bike is it has a V-boost function that comes in at 6,000 RPM and when you hit 6,000 RPM I think it opens up another valve and it basically just takes off like a rocket ship. Before 6,000 RPM it's generally quite a docile but after that it takes off like an absolute rocket. What an insane feeling that is though. I swear there was like fucking some animal up there somewhere. I'm literally in the middle of but nowhere. This road just stopped. It's like, muy bueno, let's end the road here and then we're gonna just do gravel and shit over there. Welcome to Spain. I know, before all of you, crew jumps out. I am wearing a jacket actually. Thank you very much. It's just blindingly hot. And this is the first time I've worn an open face helmet. This is Gabby's dad helmet. It's kind of cool. Uh, I don't feel particularly safe when I'm like driving. In case I come off, I know my chin isn't going to be there anymore. But uh, you don't fall off one of these bikes, do you? No, you, just, you don't fall off these. It's basically like driving a tractor, right? It's like a tractor, right? I mean, it's a cruiser. It must be like a tractor, right? You sure? Let's go.
Oh my God. I am actually speechless, to be honest. Been on it for about half an hour or so. Oh my God, I need to figure out how to get these off whilst carrying a GoPro. So I've been riding this beast for about half an hour and I think there's one thing it's fair to say, it is an absolute missile in straight lines and you would never be bored of this if you like going far and if you like basically sounding really, really manly, looking manly as f and going fast in a straight line. Going around corners is another issue. So the brakes on this are not great. Um, honestly, the rear is essentially non-existent. If you do use it too much, will lock up your rear tire big time. Um, I know this because I've done this. Basically, it, it bites really, really hard and unexpectedly so. Do you know what? It's probably a, a too good of a rear brake that you're not used to it. So you can't measure the pressure as much as you would do on on a front brake. It is immensely strong and so much so that if it will lock up this rear tire uh, on such a big bike as well and you will skid. I know this because I've done this. The other thing as well is that the steering bike is very very light on the front. There's a lot of weight on the center of the bike because of the engine but there's also a lot of weight on the rear but the front feels very very light. It feels almost as if you don't have a front wheel especially when you're gutting it obviously because all the weight's on the rear. <laughs> Going around corners is like you feel there's nothing at the front, but you feel all this weight underneath you and at the back. I'd love this bike. I'd buy this bike in a heartbeat to add to a collection. 100%. For me though, I like bikes that can go round corners. This thing really can't. The other thing is that you also do get a bit of steering wobble on the front at speed as well. If you are too loose on the handlebars, which is kind of an interesting experience. All in all, I rate this bike a solid 8 out of 10 for the type of bike it is. And I'm also happy to know that I'd be absolutely happy to ride one of these. <laughs> I've, I've eaten an insect. There's there's no two ways about it. It's it's happened. Anyway, protein, right? Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you've liked it. Um, Gabby and I will be back in the UK in the next couple days, maybe even by the time you watch this video. And then we're going to be cranking out more content. We've had a nice little break over the Christmas and New Year period. And we have a really big announcement coming soon. Can you guess what it is? Let me know in the comments. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe, hit the subscribe bell if you haven't yet. Peace. <laughs>